Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And it looks like the land grab has begun. Uh, so we're here at our little village area. Not a lot of activity right over here, but there's something going on up there. So let's go have a look. How do we get up there? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be interesting. All right, hang on a sec. All right, well, look at this. So we got some overview of the bay up here. I was actually kind of planning on using this mountain to build my base. What happened last time was I got so I kind of dug into a little hidey hole and I got so entrenched there and everyone came on and started building big builds around me. I didn't really get an opportunity to build something uh, interesting. So I, I, I know Risk and See was on, and I'm guessing this is probably his little setup here, um, including this, which I assume is a diving board. Okay, this might end badly, but let's, uh, let's see what happens. Ooh, that felt a little close. That's kind of cool though. Okay, so uh, Riskensi has put in a diving board from the appearance of it. Of course, it's all dirt, which isn't the best material, but whatever. So I, let me just show you a few things. I, uh, I, did, I did a couple things. One, you can see from up there. I want to clear all the grass out of this area because it just gets in the way. It's part of the savanna, but um, I just did, it, it obscures everything. And I want these things to be obvious. So I lured a couple of the jungle cows from over there all the way over here, put them in a pit because the fence glitching is still happening in 1.9. So I've got a few in here. I started harvesting them for leather to make books, but then that kind of became irrelevant. And you'll see, uh, as I'll show you in a moment, and then I sort of put this together. Can you mind? Let's go down. Let's eat some fish while we're at it. So I, I dug a, a staircase down here to diamond level and started building a few little branches. Kind of as examples. Uh, so that people wanted to come down and didn't want to like dig their own mine. They could just come down here and mine down here. I think this is uh, this is awesome. As we go farther along, people are going to have to dig farther and farther out, of course. But at least it'll help with uh, with all of that. So, uh, and then got the cows. And my first night, um, I came out here and. Rrr, and I needed a place to uh, dig in for the night, so I did it over here. I found this little nook in the wall along the water line, and I thought, oh, this is kind of interesting. So I dug in here, and I put in little gates, and, uh, ooh, Pirate Cove Bar. So what I'm thinking is once we go into the nether and get some brewing going, um, I, don't, I think I'll sell potions out of here. So I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, I, I started growing some food, some wheat for the cows mostly. Uh, started collecting some stuff from my mining and been doing some fishing. Got a name tag, which is kind of cool. Uh, I have some eggs for the chickens. Let's grab some of this stuff because I'm gonna need it. Melons, clownfish, I have some lava, name tag, book. I planted some, oh, Puffer fish, very important. Uh, I planted some sugar cane um, along here. Just seemed it seemed all 
to be kind of uh, thematic and as well as being useful. So now I've got a source of sugar cane. I probably did not get all of it there. And, and it gets a little dangerous out here. I do not have things lit up in the slightest. So then uh, let's do this. Let me show you where I ended up. So I, I started scouting out locations here. And I do like that Mojang put the controls on the boat back to normal. So I decided to move in here. So let me show you what, I, what I've got going on here. I think this is really freaking cool. So, well, wait, I'm pointing the wrong way here. So I built a little dock. It looks super clumsy with full blocks, but the nice thing is you hop out on top of the dock. Hey, Mr. Zombie, I need to replace this step. But, so I, I made a little entrance up here. Bye. Um, it comes up here, hops around the corner, and then this goes up to the base. Now this goes down to my mine, which, uh, which I started digging out this direction, which is the opposite direction from the community mine. So in theory, I get to mine all I want. And I don't have to worry about running into anybody else provided they use the community mine. We'll see how that works out. But this way I don't necessarily have to go all the way out into nowhere. Now this intersects with a ravine. I have not lit up this ravine as well as I would like to, but I have done some exploring of this and there's some caves over there. And then, uh, and then I've got a little mine shops. Plop. And I've been doing some mining. I've got some diamonds, as you can see. Ooh, diamond sword, diamond pick. Um, I don't have diamond armor yet. And I have died a couple of times. I have not turned on the death counter yet. I need to do that. Uh, I totally forgot. I need to look up the scoreboard command to make that happen. It's not too difficult, but I, I think I, I made a note of it somewhere of how I did it last time, but it's been a while. So instead of doing spiral staircase, I just did the ladder thing. I don't know which is more boring. But we will shall see. Uh, yeah, close that. Okay, this is a long climb. I'll be with you when I get up to the top. Oh, there's a creeper down there. Here's my nighttime view of the uh, the cove. I think it's pretty cool. There's Kyle's uh, little spot up there. Let me go to bed, see if we can get rid of some of those mobs. As you can see over there, when I get up, I'll show you. I have a f an almost full enchanting setup. Uh, I went on a little boat trip. Long boat trip. Hello, Mr. Keeper. Are you going to go away? Can I? Pow! So pro! Nice. Uh, I found a couple of villages. One of the villages had two uh, library buildings, so I took all their books. And uh, that was almost enough. I didn't have to actually build any of my own. So I have one book. I probably have enough materials to make the last remaining bookshelf that I need for a full enchanting setup. But as you can see, I only have 19 levels, so it's not uh, super, super necessary at the moment. So I need to, I need to rearrange things a bit here. I, I don't have enough storage. I need to make a storage room so I can put potion brewing supplies into its own spot. I have some obsidian. I did get an ender pearl from an enderman. I also found a two desert temples. So I have some TNT and those between those two temples, there were three golden apples. So it's pretty cool. I haven't had to make any golden apples yet. In fact, I don't know that I have any apples to make golden apples from, but you can see I have carrots and potatoes because I found villages. So I, uh, I blocked up the villages to try and our village. Yeah, it was just one village. It was a desert village. Uh, I blocked up all the villagers so that they're safe from the zombie hordes. I stole their food. Um, I caught a, a lily pad while fishing. I did see a swamp. I didn't really go into it. So I've got uh, I've got carrots and potatoes and stuff here, which I will need. I'll need the carrots for uh, potions, of course. Uh, and I will need the potatoes for when we build a village. Maybe not here. So what I'm thinking of doing is 
these torches I think are going to outline the curve I want to put like a little pod house and this will be one one area I'll decorate out the floors make it nice and neat put glass like windows around and the nice thing is there is a humongous desert right over there and I'm sorry about the noise I've got the the heater coming on normally turn it off but uh, Chihuahua Power G is feeling sick and, uh, and you can hear her coughing uh, she's not feeling well she's got a cold probably so she's feeling a little chilly so I uh, we left the heat on for her um, and it's a little bit chilly we got some rain this morning we actually got hail which is really unusual for Los Angeles so anyway big desert it goes way past render distance over that way so we're going to have plenty of sand nearby. It's one of the reasons I chose the seed was because there was a good sized desert nearby in addition to the forest and the savanna. So we have a pretty good mix of biomes here. So this is my little bedroom area is going to be here. I want to carve out, I can't go too much farther that way, but I want to kind of try and play with having like a roundish room here. And then what I'm thinking is I'll build in and maybe it'll just be this ladder system come down here and put in a second floor down here so I can go between them and the second floor will be storage so I'll have my big storage area maybe enchanting and potions down there as well so we'll try to be just decorative up here we'll see I don't I don't do decorative building all that well or that much so we'll make it see if we can make it happen so anyway this is uh, this is where things stand right now um, I probably going to be doing an, an in real life meeting of a couple of the other people on the server uh, tomorrow tomorrow evening at crash space because most of the people playing on here are crash space members and we're going to talk about things and I want to talk about what I want to do with the spawn area over there because I'd like to make that a little like community center and I want to put the primary nether portal uh, over there and I want to get into the nether sooner rather than later. Oh, hey. All right. Let's go see if he needs help. Woohoo. All right, Netslayer is on. So he hasn't really been on the server much, even last season. So let's go there. Pop. Do, 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 do. this is kind of weird I wonder if this is natural I don't remember seeing that before I may have to take that down so it's not Slayer let's get him over uh, over to the spawn area and show him uh, the mine and cows and stuff Ooh. my network pings aren't super great his look good let's not run into the squid I don't want to pick one up in the boat so Netslayer uh, logged out so we could sleep away the night. Um, so I made I made a couple beds. Where do you go? Put the bed down here. Where do you go? And uh, I should build a real farm, like a wheat farm, over here. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Where'd he go? Sheep. 
You got a little river over there. Oh, that that's kind of neat. What is that? There's some sand over there. Time to mine. Oh, did he go down the mine, maybe? Let's see if he's down here. This would make sense for him to come down here if he's just made a pickaxe, but we'll see. I could give him some cobble. I don't see his name tag. Okay, oh, there you are. Oops, where are you going, dude? Running after you. Made you a bet. Slayer must have found a cave or something. He's down in the mine. I gave him a few torches. He's uh, took down a tree and made himself a pick and a sword. And he already killed something. So he's doing all right. So we will uh, we'll leave him alone. Get into it. I'm going to clear off some space here. And, uh, yeah, make this look a little more presentable and uh, plant some wheat so that we can uh, encourage people to feed the cows and maybe uh, make some bread for themselves. Don't need too much space. Maybe I'll do it up here. Maybe I'll flatten some of this out. Anyway, you don't need to see that. I'll, I'll come up with something. There's plenty of space here. And uh, cows need food too. So we're going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching. And uh, obviously things will get more interesting when we uh, get into the nether. Uh, and uh, I make more progress on, on the base. Which I think is going to be interesting. I was thinking of doing the Monsanto House of the Future uh, design like I did on Snapshot Tour. But uh, I don't think so now. Um, I'm thinking of making kind of UFO looking house sticking out of the hill. Uh, so we'll see. It'll be interesting to do something different. Oops. I wish they would fix the flower hitbox thing. This is a, I don't know that there's a good reason for it being. I mean, it's nice that the flowers render in different places. Um, there's some variety to things, but. I should make a chicken farm. Make a little chicken cook. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling. So thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you later. All right, bye.